I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, welcome to Lovely News Network. I hope you guys are doing good. So anyways, I have some news stories for you guys. So what's going on is a really disturbing story. And of course, it's coming from our first favorite state, honey. Wretched ass Florida, okay? This story is more serious. If you guys remember on my other channel, I talked about the government shutdown and how it's affecting a lot of people, government workers especially, TSA agents and everything else. So what happened is that a few days ago at an Orlando airport, I guess at their airport in Orlando, they have hotels attached to the airport because there's a Hyatt Regency in the airport. Haven't seen that before, so I find that interesting. But anyways, there was a TSA agent. He's been going through it. They said he was behind on a lot of bills, very depressed. He ended up killing himself in the middle of the airport in front of thousands of onlookers, in front of thousands of people waiting to go through TSA and board the plane. This was a really sad situation that took place a few days ago. I want you guys to go ahead and watch these news clips. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Flights. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lynn Keyes. Here's a live look right now at our flight tracker on WFTV.com. You can see delays are in the excessive range. The FAA says the average delay right now is about 15 minutes. Now, authorities say a TSA worker committed suicide this morning. One man who witnessed the tragedy reached out to Channel 9 after it happened. Channel 9's Deanna Albritton joins us live from OIA right now with that man's story. Deanna, he says he's wracked with guilt over what happened. Yes, James Shaw has told us that he first saw the TSA worker who was uniformed at the time was doing some kind of official work when he first saw him on one of those ledges behind and above me. And he says now he can't stop thinking, what if he could have done more? When I came out uh, of our room, went to the elevator and saw this TSA worker standing on the ledge. Around 9.30 this morning, James Shaw, like several other people walking in the Hyatt hallways or waiting in the TSA lines, shrugged this off. We thought he was just up there maybe doing something for the company. Now all these witnesses to tragedy are trying to figure out if they missed the signs, especially Shaw, who says he was on the 10th floor of the Hyatt and believes he was the last person to see that TSA worker alive. Came down to the fourth floor and that's where you heard the, the boom. I thought at first it was something else. It didn't connect, and then I looked and saw him, and I knew. Shaw says the shock instantly spread through the security screening area where hundreds of people visibly panicked. You heard bomb, you heard shots fired, and the chaos that it caused up there on the fourth floor where all these young kids are dancing. But more than the chaos after, Shaw says he can't stop replaying that moment before. I just talked to my dad. I said, Dad, I didn't say anything to him. He keeps asking himself if he could have made a difference. He keeps wondering whether a few words might have saved a man's life. I, I may not have changed anything, except I could have just said, hey, man, everything OK? And who knows? So if I had anything to do again, I would say so said something to him. As you can imagine, many of the people who witnessed this today will need some help to cope with the trauma of what they saw. And also, if you or a loved one is struggling with depression, you should reach out to the suicide hotline. The national hotline is 1-800-273-TALK. That's 1-800-273-8255. They have people there all day, every day, to answer any of your questions and help you connect with people who can help you. Live at the Orlando International Airport, Deanna Albritton, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. And along with the emotional impact there at the airport, travel was also affected in a major way. Passengers were faced with long lines, flight delays, and even cancellations. Everybody's being really patient. I think that um, everybody understands that TSA agents are stressed to begin with, so the crowds are just trying to work together. I feel like this is more dangerous than pulling us off of the plane for the security checkpoint. I mean, how are they going to get everybody properly checked in, in a certain amount of time? Another person caught up in the security scare was Channel 9 sports anchor Christian Brewey. He was actually on a plane about to take off when this all happened. We were minutes away from backing up from the gate and taking off. Uh, my wife and I were heading out to Las Vegas, but that, that obviously been put on hold. But we, everyone from that terminal had to essentially empty that terminal. I don't know if it's to, to check and go through, you know, the folks that are there, go back through that security line. And there was a 30 to 45 minute wait just to get on the tram. 
Passengers on Christian's flight were able to reboard the plane just before 3 p.m., some hours after they were taken off. If you have a flight later tonight, we've made it easy for you to check the status at WFTV.com slash traffic. Team coverage continues now. As you can imagine, today's loss of a TSA worker is hitting other TSA employees very hard. It became the main focus of their union meeting today. Channel 9's Ashley Edlin joins us now from the airport with their reaction to all of this. Ashley. Yeah, that's exactly right. They were planning on meeting today. Union presidents have had this plan for quite some time, but today's incident made the conversation even more urgent. Uh, we just like to observe a moment of silence for him. The American Federation of Government Employees planned this town hall style meeting. It's just mind boggling that we would allow it to discuss healing for federal workers in the wake of the government shutdown and preparations for another possible shutdown looming. We, we need for this to be fixed. They had no way of knowing just how timely their discussion would become until a TSA worker inside the Orlando International Airport took his life this morning. Personally, I believe it's a direct result of the shutdown. Deb Hanna, president of the AFGE Local 556, a union representing TSA agents at several Florida airports, says while she can't say what was going through that man's mind, she believes the shutdown played a role. I think with the pressure of the last 30 plus days of not being paid and still having to come to work and having to do your job, and knowing that you cannot make a mistake because it'll cause somebody's life, that it was just too much. Doug Lowe, president for the Florida chapter of professional aviation safety specialists, was also at that town hall and asked federal workers to support each other. Make sure you ask the person next to you, are you okay? Make sure you ask them, are you dealing with this all right? Because we don't want to lose another person. Call me. Call me if you need somebody to talk to. All right, so you guys just watched those news clips. So more information has come out, um, and they're saying that the man who killed himself, his name was Robert Henry. He was 36 years old, and he had been working with the TSA since 2006, so he had been employed with them for a long time. Um, his brother has since set up a GoFundMe for him that they're giving, you know, to charity. But this is leading to a lot of people to speculate, you know, like, how does something like this happen? You know, why is there nothing in place to help government workers when the government gets shut down? You know, because of everything that Donald Trump did, people are saying that that might have been what affected this man to kill himself. We don't know what bills he had, what debt he had to incur. And I'm not just talking about like, you know, bills and collections or student loans, but even just your normal bills, you know, your rent, your mortgage, your car, you know, things like that, that are due that people had to pay and that they weren't able to receive a check for because of this whole government situation. Now the government is back open. These people have not been reinstated back to work, but again, don't hold your breath because it could get shut down again if they don't meet these new negotiations. So right now the TSA is talking about changing some policies, implementing some things to help TSA workers, but this entire situation is really sad and I hope that his suicide was not in vain and that people take this situation as a lesson to not put people in these situations because you don't know what people are dealing with. While Trump thought it was a joke and he just assumed like, you know, oh your creditors will work with you your landlord will work with you they'll understand the government shutdown for many people they don't have that luxury you know what i'm saying and if they don't have money coming in because they're living paycheck to paycheck there's no one to understand there's no one to help them out so i just thought that that was really crazy you know how dismissive he was during those cnn videos that i posted in my original video about the shutdown and now it's led to somebody actually taking their life in front of hundreds of people so i definitely feel like this man did it he did it at his job. He did it in a public manner to send a message out to the people. So this entire situation is really disturbing. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, wretched ass Florida. All right, deuces.